guys, Wagwan, how you doing? It's your girl Tifa Hassan and welcome to another episode of Another Angle. Today we're going to be talking about something very, 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 very interesting. We're talking about going Dutch on dates. And if you don't know what going Dutch on dates means, this basically means splitting bills on dates. Is that something you do? Is it something you've ever done before? Especially the babes. Let me know. What do you think about going Dutch on dates? But as for usual, I've got four amazing guests in the studio with me. We are going to be telling you how they feel about going Dutch and you for it, against it. We have Murewa. Hi, my name is Murewa Ogunkoya. I'm an architect and a menswear designer. We have Taiwo. Oh, hi. My name is Taiwo. I'm a makeup artist and I'm into skincare products. And we have Miriam. Hi, I'm Miriam. I work in public health. We have Kosi. My name is Kosi. I'm a PR and communication specialist and we are on another angle. These four young individuals are going to be telling us how they genuinely feel about going Dutch and Dave, especially in this side of town that is Nigeria. Let's be specific, so Lagos, Nigeria. Let's get into it. But before we do that, a short break and we'll be right back. What's up guys? Welcome back to another Angle with Tifa Hassan. Like I said earlier, I've got four amazing guests in the studio with me who are going to be doing their opinions on going Dutch on dates. But before we get into it, here are a few social media posts that have like a couple of things to say about going Dutch on dates, like this one. In light of this post that we just saw, let's get right into it. So guys, how do you feel about going Dutch on date? What is your opinion on this? <laughs> I think it depends on the date we're talking about. So for first dates, I am against it. I would not pay the bill for the first date. I don't mind, as long as I know beforehand and I agree to it. But like subsequent times, maybe, I mean, I could foot the bill, we could split. Depends on the mood, actually. I have gone Dutch with, um friends, right, friend dates, but an actual date date I've never. If he tells me beforehand, I'm fine with it, but right there and then, that's where I'd have an issue. But I think that's a trauma response based on our social environment. Because I've, I've lived in other parts of the world, I got to understand that it's actually our own social, you know, bubble where it's a man's responsibility to take care of the girl. So I'm, and I'm, I'm okay with it, so I've never agreed to anyone even wanting to pay for it, never, never. So Kosi, tell me, what is it about these first dates that the, I mean, why is it so different? Why is it such a big deal? Like, what is it? Because according to Kosi, it's like, uh, if it's the first date, she's not paying. Like, you have to be, there's no, we're not doing Dutch on the first date, especially if you're asking her. But then, do you think that you have to be pre told if you're going to be going Dutch on a date? Or should it just be common knowledge that, okay, we're going on a date, she says your bill, I says my bill. Or, does, do they have to like, yo, what's up? So this date we're going for, we're going to be splitting the bills and why? I mean, come on, it's 2022. If the date is with a man, I'd like to be pre-informed before I sh show up at the place. It's a no-brainer that if I was out with a woman, I would at least try to cover my share of the bill. If you guys have come to an understanding, I think it's out of respect. that You should let them know how you feel about, you know, the payment plan for a date. If he's offering me to go out on a date, who go with you? But you not telling me that you want to go Dutch before then will put me in a position to decide if I would go with you or not. Personally, I would go out with the idea that my man is paying for my meals. So if he wants to switch it up and, you know, let's say, oh, I'm paying for the bills and everything is on my head, and let me know so that I am prepared. You don't want me coming out without my card or anything. Especially when you know you're in an environment where they don't expect it. I think you should let them know prior. So let them be the ones to decide if they're okay with the dates where they can pay half or they're just not up for it. To be fair on the bait, 
things here and the society we find ourselves in yes you have to tell them you have to tell them because like i said society we find ourselves in is common knowledge that the man pays for the dates but and until that is changed if that changes i'm all for yeah pre-telling before we go on the date then give me that option what if i don't have money do you know my pockets do you know my car balance? like no go shock me for outside oh, please tell me oh don't watch kind when you date and go and shock me you now take me to one restaurant that have that a bottle of butter is five thousand there respect yourself do you think that the party who initiates the date should pay for the date or um anyone can just you know pay for it they don't think that it's their responsibility to pay for the date oh no if i initiated it i'd definitely be ready and try to pay for it the fact that you're asking them on the date means you're planning to take care of whatever bills are accompanied with the date if you want us to split the bill you should tell me beforehand if i'm asking you out definitely I'm, i would probably foot the bill most likely foot the bill but then if you're asking me out there's there's no way i'm paying for it no way there's no way in hell nigerian men can almost die or slit their wrists before they pay no no if he tells me beforehand no hold on if he, hold on oh god hold on now if he tells me beforehand that he wants us to go down i don't have a problem with it but you can't tell me you can't ask me out on a date and we are there you can't be calling me out for me to come and pay come on sorry what country is this nigeria So Kelsey says, so Kelsey says there's no way she's paying for the date. You go to wash plate, you go wash plate there, yeah. <laughs> you wash plate there. But personally, I just feel like it's courtesy. If you're going to be inviting someone out for a date, you literally don't know if they're if they're boxed up or not. I think it's just courtesy for you to pay for a date if you're initiating a date. And this is not like, oh, if it's a man initiating a date, be it woman, be it man, anyone. If you are the one that said, let's go and eat, pay for the dates. Pay for the date. So speak to me. How would you perceive a person who says she just splits the money on the date, on actually the first date? Like, how would you perceive the person? Maybe unserious or broke? That's where I can feel myself too. Does that does that work? <laughs> so I don't have <laughs> words. <laughs> Maybe not broke, but I won't take it seriously. Definitely not. I'll do it, but like you said, the perception I'll have is. I mean, that's the last time we're going to see each other. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, I'm being honest, particularly because he's already given chips kids. Yeah, and I, I don't think I, I see the person as someone who respects my time. I mean, you might have the money, but you just, you are into, oh, let's split the bill. But yeah, do your thing, but you won't see me after that day. But you see the thing um, White Highway says, and that's our time to shine. Oh, um, well, don't do this on the Lagos men. But like, I don't know, I don't know. Do it over. Well. Lagos men, they don't drop your money around. Don't do, oh, it's my time to flex, because, I mean, let me share, let me pay for the bill. Like, it's my time to flex. Well, you know, Kosi and Amuro are just like. So, do you consider splitting bills on the first day gender equality? Because, you know, some babes want to start like school, like, oh my God, I handle my own bills. I'm a feminist. That's not what feminism or gender equality is. But, what do you think? I mean, that's just my opinion. What do you think? No. No, it's not. I think it all depends on who is initiating the date. And sometimes you need to switch things up, take care of your man, you know. Paying bills on a date is not exactly a gender-specific role. It's only gender equality if there's a particular gender that is perceived to be doing it and then the other one is kind of, you know. It's a self-imposed responsibility in Nigeria, right? It's not something where everywhere else in the world it's a man's duty to always pay the bills when he, you know, when they're going out on dates, even if it's a woman who asks. I definitely agree with my guest. I do not think that splitting the bill is a sign of gender equality in any way because bill splitting is not gender based in the first place. So if you like you're a feminist, you're on gender equality because you're splitting your bill, girl, you're just being a human being and you're taking care of your own self, basically. But like moving on, this is for the girls. Have you ever been on a date with a man and you offered to pay the bill or split the bill? And Murewa, since you're the only guy amongst us, have you ever been on a date with a Nigerian woman who said, you know what, I'll take care of the bill, 
don't pay nothing. And it's not like she initiated the date or you initiated the date. And she goes, oh, no, 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 no. Let me pay the bill. No, keep your card. Let me, no. Flex. Have you ever been in one before? Nope. I have not. Because I'm a queen. I don't do that shit. A year once. I mean, it wasn't really a date. It was almost like one of those like meals that you have at the end of a long day. Please don't see me finish, you know? So let it be that you have no right to say that you've paid for my food or you've taken me out and stuff like that. But I always, like I said, I've never gone Dutch, so I never agree. Um, but I do see where they're coming from with their intentions. So yes, it has happened, but I've never agreed. I would definitely pay. I know people would come for me for this, but it's not all about the money, I swear to God. It's not, for me, yo, it's not about the money. I am a huge fan of love, and I would pick love over money. You guys, Murewa is not all about that life. You initiate to, initiate to, they initiate to. The world is shit, so my G is paying for his bills because he doesn't want to see finish. But the truth is, it's not necessarily all about see finish and then maybe telling their friends that they took care of your bills or anything. To be fair, the same way you want to impress us, sometimes we just want to impress you. So sit back, relax, allow yourself to be taken care of. Relax, relax, okay? You are a king. Allow yourself to be taken care of by women. It's not all about, oh, see finish, see finish, see finish all the time. You know, relax. But yes, guys, in conclusion, what do you think about going Dutch on dates? Speak to me. My name is Kosi Iweha, and my angle on this is if you're going to split the bill, know who you're splitting it with. If it's someone you're taking seriously, don't do that shit. Maybe sometimes you can, you know, initiate it. If you're taking him out on a nice date, do your thing. But other, other than that, sis, run away. My name is Mariam, and I don't have a problem with paying for dates if I was pre-informed and I agreed to it before the start of the date. Anything out of that, basically, <sighs> vibes. I'm pretty sure that I will not feel very enthusiastic about going on another date. Hi, my name is Taiwo. It's not only about money, you guys. Women should start making moves. Once you can go Dutch, I feel like he's going to. I'm not saying, but <laughs> he might respect you. Like, it's not about the money. Please. Hi, this is Morawa. Don't go Dutch with a Nigerian man. She will see you finish. And she will tell her friends. And your friends will see you finish. <laughs> Guys, in conclusion, Taiwo is not about the money, she's all for true love. Such a sweet, cute baby girl. We need more of that in this generation. We do need more of Taiwo's. We need more Taiwo's in this generation. While according to Murewa, don't go Dutch with a Nigerian woman. She will see you finish and embarrass you to the whole public. I don't know about that, but I'm sure he has his reason. Experience is the best teacher in like they say. Personally, I'm all for going Dutch and dates. And to be fair, if, if you tell me earlier, but do not Ask me on the first date and tell me to go Dutch with you. I'm not going to take you seriously. This is just my opinion. I'm, I'm just a host. I mean, my guests have said it all. Well, this is a great show of another angle, going Dutch and dates. Let me know what you think. Let me know your experience on going Dutch and dates, especially in Nigeria, especially Nigeria. And I want to hear more from Nigerian men because they seem to have more of the experience. But yes, guys, follow us on Instagram at This Is Pop Central and follow me at DTFA underscore Hassan. And of course, stay glued to Pop Central TV, this channel 189, because that's where all the fun and all the magic happens. And I will be seeing you next time.